Hey everyone, welcome back to another day um, here at Princeton and another midterms week. I made this video last semester and honestly I cannot believe we're here already for this semester, but it started whether I like it or not. Um, so we are back for a weekend of libraries, studying, tea, grinding, just so much stuff to do, so many assignments. Hopefully you enjoyed it last time and I thought I would take you guys along this time. I actually spent the morning at a cafe meeting a professor and then just kind of working on some funding stuff. So honestly, this midterms week is like on even more stressful than last time because there's also summer funding as well as like study abroad work to do um, and not just classwork, which is fine. Um, but we are surviving. Having you guys along always motivates me to actually get my shit done. So that is what we're doing for this weekend. I have a comp lit midterm to write this afternoon. Um, it's a midterm like essay, but you're allowed to do a creative option, which is pretty amazing. Um, so I'm going to be doing that and writing kind of like a short story, prose poem kind of thing. Um, and then I also have a couple of other essays as well as um, an actual test for uh, my mole class on Tuesday. Um, and then it's spring break, so it's every, everything is moving very fast. Um, and I honestly am feeling a little dead already, which is a little concerning, but we will push through. I hope this gives you some study inspiration and also just like, gives you strength if you're going through a similar time um, and otherwise I hope you enjoy the video when you came to me who I knew it's you yeah boy the one to show me now and forever no you never be alone again so I don't know if you guys saw these but this these are the ceramics I made um that have shown up in the past few vlogs I was really excited for this guy but kind of looks a little blood spattered <laughs> splattered sorry Especially the back here, it's like, ooh, not so cute. So, I don't know. I feel like together they're not too bad. Tell me your thoughts. But so far they've been really cute. Got real, took out my huge ass suitcase that has all my spring stuff in it. So This actually just makes me feel like 20 pounds lighter. Oh my god. So many clothes that I'd missed. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday. I've honestly just spent the morning waking up late, um, doing some laundry, eating breakfast, stuff like that. But we gotta get the day started. So before I get on to my midterm stuff this afternoon, I think I'm just gonna take 
a little bit of time before I have um, plans around like one to do some writing. You know, I find that like when score picks up, like it's really hard to make time or feel like you even have the mental space to do stuff that like isn't related to that or is kind of just like something that you want to do on your own. But it's so important and it ends up like really making my days a lot better and it also makes me feel like I have something else that I'm like continuing to do and that is kind of my own outside of the school bubble I guess. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that for about an hour and then this afternoon I probably need to head to Firestone. <sighs> I hate it there, but it's fine. It really gets me super productive and get some stuff done for my midterm. just checking in again it is the evening i finished all of my stuff for today which includes finishing up a midterm essay for one of my classes and also just planning out the other essay i am so glad that uh, the day's work is done i thought i would just kind of have a chat um about how i'm doing how this midterms season is going and just more kind of honest I guess more raw thoughts. To be honest, like the past few days, I have not been doing super well. Um, I've been very stressed out, um, just constantly feeling like very overwhelmed and like there's always stuff to, more stuff to do. And also just feeling a little like lacking any sort of purpose with the work that I'm doing. I think to sum it up, probably feeling burnout. Yeah, and I think a lot of it is probably just really closely related to midterms and it's always a very intense time because you have to continue with normal classes and your normal schedule as well as do all the work that you have to do with midterms which honestly like 
is not that different from the workload of finals. So you're basically doing the same stuff while having all the other homework and readings and classwork. And personally, I felt like this exact same way um, the midterms week of last semester, um, which I do have a video of, but you probably can't really tell. Um, and I don't think I like really fully felt in the moment, but I literally am spending just all my time studying and it is not cute. I was a little really nervous for this midterm season just because I had already gone through that, through the, what is the machine, like the word, the something, the machine. Anyway, I'd already gone through it basically um, last semester and I was like, oh god, here we go again. But I do think that this is also kind of just a larger feeling. And although it feels a little weird, like, you know, being so honest about um some negative feelings i do think that like it feels right and it feels good as well to just get it off my chest and be like you know this is this is real right like this is something that is also going on along with all of the fun stuff yeah in between all the studying i've just been thinking um i watched my um really good friend justin che's video if you want to see it um i will put the link in the description but um i watched this video on why um he's taking a gap year essentially and um i knew that obviously he was honestly like really refreshing just to see him be really honest about his mental health and his overall experience of last semester where you are just constantly working and i i know for sure that he was more overworked than i was pressed with deadlines pressed with work um, there's not really a day that I have taken off like and no one takes off time You know what I mean? I cannot remember the last day that I took off fully that I wasn't with like, you know visiting Nick or um, Like break or something like very seriously. It is so rare to even get an evening off here um, And I think that is um, the unfortunate truth overall I've just been feeling like there are all these assignments and all these things I need to get done, but there is no real reason why I'm actually doing them. Or more just like, you know, what? why am I working so hard? Like, what is the justification for making us work this hard? Um, and I, again, I don't wanna blame everything on school. It's also just this week is really difficult, but I think just overall it is so kind of like draining to be, <laughs> going through this and um i realized that i sound probably very dramatic the task list never ends and i wake up with 20 things to do that day and only half of them get done and then it's just like constantly snowballing into the later days and i think overall it makes you want to be like okay i'm done like i'm just not gonna do it you know which is obviously impossible but i am feeling like i am in the pits of despair no i'm feeling not great right now to be totally honest and i it feels good to say that you know it's really sad but like this week i just don't have a weekend basically like and no one here does which is ridiculous to me um but we push on we push forward yeah tomorrow's a new day um i do have so much stuff to do tomorrow yet again but i will take you all with me and hopefully we'll be able to find some breaks here and there and i know that after that it's spring break so that'll be really nice and i'll get to kind of recuperate but um i just wanted to be honest and have some you know deep late night chats with you all if you are also a student and going through this i am there with you um really like seriously I'm so proud of you and I'm sending you all the love and strength that you need. That's it for me today, but I will see you tomorrow. And I'm with you. And it goes a little yeah. like